good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE action figure reveal for you guys, and it is going to be a ringside exclusive. But before we get into that, I planned on doing a video early this morning. You guys know how we usually do the really early uploads. I was going to do a really early upload on the new figures that we're going to be getting and some cool new fix-ups you guys can do. I guess that video is going to have to wait till tomorrow because when I woke up this morning, I felt like ass. I'm talking, I felt terrible, bro. And it wasn't like sick, like flu, like sick. It was just my stomach was hurting really bad and I was super nauseous. Like if I even moved a centimeter, I was going to vomit everywhere and I just felt super terrible. I didn't have like the headache, you know, and the the, the weird feeling you feel in your skin. I, I'm not like coughing. I'm not sneezing. It's not like chest pressure or anything like that. I literally just felt god awful. So I apologize for no upload earlier and by the time I get done with that video, it's going to be so late. I figured I could just get on here and reveal this new WWE action figure that we got because I got a lot of people tagging me in it wanting to know what the hell I think about this. So let's go ahead and dive in, guys. Brand new ringside exclusive John Cena. NWO John Cena. Now before we get into the details of this figure exactly, you guys will remember, I think it was a week ago maybe, maybe a little bit before a week ago, maybe a little over a week ago, I got on here and I told you that we were going to be getting an NWO Cena. Remember Unstable 1047, my boy Christian told us about it. Let's throw back to that video. Next up, guys, we have an NWO Cena. We're going to be getting an NWO Cena Firefly Funhouse match WrestleMania. Bray Wyatt versus John Cena. That match was absolutely incredible. But NWO Cena from that matchup is a figure that we're going to be getting. Now, I don't know the series of these figures just yet, and we don't know exactly if they're going to be elite or basic. That's what Christian said in his video. But I can definitely see an elite being possible simply because they like to put John Cena out a lot, and John Cena hasn't been on TV since WrestleMania, so I would guess that they're going to try to look for a better reason to get his figure in into the line, and I can see that being the NWO Cena from that matchup. I can just see that. And you guys can see exactly what we said there, and it turns out to be true. NWO Cena came out, and that's great. That means we have validity. That means that we, w these reports that we get in are accurate, and I didn't doubt it at all. I figured that would be the case, except I thought this figure would come in the main elite line. I thought for sure this would be a main elite line figure because I said that, you know, John Cena, he hasn't rocked really a new gear, so they could plug him into the main line and use this look as like his updated figure, even though it wouldn't necessarily be updated. It would be a new John Cena when he hasn't worn a new gear. So that was my thinking, but... Let's get into it, guys. Let's just, let's just start off from the top, man. Overall, I really don't like this as a ringside exclusive, okay? I, I just am not a big fan of it. I think, you know, I'm a big Cena fan. I'm probably the biggest Cena fan you'll ever meet. He's, he's the GOAT to me. He's my all-time favorite. But I think that as a release, as a ringside exclusive, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm obviously gonna get one because I gotta put it in my Cena timeline. I gotta have it as part of my WrestleMania 36 Firefly Funhouse matchup. However, I just think that it's kind of bleh, you know? Like, we've seen NWO shirts before. I don't know if we've had one in this short sleeve style, but I know we've gotten multiple sleeveless ones. We've seen the NWO Championship. I want to say that that's the first NWO Championship that we've gotten that has the lowercase N, though. I'm pretty sure every other one we've ever gotten has had the capital N. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's a thing. I know a lot of collectors have complained about the NWO on the World Heavyweight Championship like that being in the capital N and wanting a lowercase N, so that's probably why a lot of people will grab it anyways. Also, this hat doesn't fit other Cena figures very well. It's like very oversized and you have to like stretch it to get over the head. The head sculpt is a one of one head sculpt. It's a brand new John Cena head sculpt. We've never seen this head sculpt before. It's got like the puckered out lips and you guys will see on the back of the packaging that is the face he's making but the eyes aren't squinted so it kind of just makes him look weird. How he's got like a frowny mush face but his eyes aren't squinted like on the back of the packaging so it kind of it just I don't know it kind of looks a little bit odd. It, it honestly the Elite 34 head sculpt I'll plug in a picture of that. The Elite 34 head sculpt that we got looks looks probably more accurate to the back of the box than this image does here or this new head sculpt does here. He's got the same modern haircut that he had at WrestleMania. The body is shirtless and it does have the, you know, it's not a sculpted on shirt so that's cool. I do like that they went with a cloth shirt. He's got the Jack John Cena arms, Jack John Cena torso with the jeans here. They are, I can't really tell, it looks like they're black. They kind of have like a matte black or like a flat navy-ish like not like completely black, but they are like a mattish black color. I think that's pretty cool. I, I think Matt Hardy, Hulk Hogan, Kevin Nash maybe, and some other figures have had the black jeans before. I don't know if we've ever had them in this color before, but the shoes also are black and have white outsoles. I just think that as a ringside exclusive, I would have liked to have seen something a little bit better. This is still better than the ringside exclusive Kurt Angle in the shield gear by far. Like, that's no doubt about that. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but he also comes with mic holding hands, two sweet hands, and uh, I guess like... 
the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard wide open hands, which I guess are supposed to be for playing the guitar. I thought that would give us like a pluck hand. Like a lot of people used his, you know, his John Cena hands with the with the threes. We still haven't even really gotten interchangeable hands of that. At least I, I don't recall. We always get you can't see me hands. We never really get the you know the hustle loyalty respect hands with the with the threes being held up. So felt like that could have been a cool hand to throw in there. Or two of those would have been cool because John Cena also does that. You could pair it with your John Cena figures. Also, it could have been another incentive of getting this ringside exclusive. But I feel like a better ringside exclusive possibly would have been like a throwback edge like we've gotten in the past with the Rated R Championship. You could have done the same thing, given us the Unforgiven 2006 edge in the blue gear in elite form. Could have done like a similar head sculpt. I guess they didn't do that because we already got the edge heads exclusive, which I guess makes sense. Like, yeah, that makes sense, but... I feel like a lot of people, since Edge is so big right now, I feel like that would have been a perfect opportunity to get another Ruthless Aggression era style Edge in here. Other guys that they could have done, none really coming to my brain right now. That's just one that really popped in my head immediately would be another Edge throwback, maybe another Jeff Hardy throwback. I know we are getting the two-pack, but there's so many different looks of those guys that we could get. It just seems like most of the time when they do ringside exclusives, they're usually a flashback and they're really good flashbacks, but this time it's more of a current updated figure, and uh, I don't know. It's, it's not my favorite figure ever. I'm still gonna grab it. I'm still gonna review it for you guys so you guys can check it out, but it's not one that I'm necessarily really, really looking forward to and one that I'm like super ecstatic about. I'll also try to include this in our fix-ups video. I'll try to think of some different fix-ups we can do for this torso jack like this on the pants with this head sculpt and stuff. I'm trying to think of anybody you could like switch it out with. Nothing's coming to my brain immediately. Like obviously John Moxley or something like that wouldn't work torso's way too jacked. Obviously, you could torso swap it, but I'm trying to think of guys that you could just pop the head off or pop the arms off and do a quick little fix-up. I'm also wondering if this will be on ball joints. I feel like it will be on ball joints, but if it's not on ball joints, that will kind of suck, because you could use this as a John Cena and then pop some other John Cena legs on there from his short shorts, and you could make like a fix-up John Cena that way, possibly. That could be a thing. But nonetheless, I would love to know what you guys think about this figure, what's your overall thoughts on it, and everything like that. Again, I was going to do my fix up's video and everything like that, but this is our new ringside exclusive, guys. It is up for pre-order, I'm pretty sure. If you guys want to go pre-order it, I believe it is up for pre-order. Let me go check ringside collectibles real quick to see if it's uh, okay. Yeah, so it is up for pre-order right now. You can pre-order this. It says it's supposed to be in mid-May. I would guess that it'd be way before that. I don't think it'll be mid-May. That's three months from now. I would guess that this would probably be in late March, early April is what I would guess. I think they just put that mid-May there just in case, but anyways, guys, go over there. Use promo code MDTOYS. Elite 85 is also up for pre-order, so that includes Bray Wyatt, Karrion Cross, Aleister Black, Liv Morgan, Undertaker, Chase Variant, Aleister Black, and the Becky Lynch figure. All of those are up for pre-order over there right now, so definitely go get your pre-orders in. Use promo code MDTOYS and all of that stuff. But anyways, guys, I think I am that is going to do it for today's video and everything. Stay tuned tomorrow for our updates on our fix-ups and stuff like that. I will definitely get those in for you guys. Spend a video on that and showcase some different fix-ups you guys can do with future figures coming soon. Before we get out of here, guys, let's go ahead and get into our random shout out and this shout out is going to go to chip skylark's bitch that's absolutely hair that actually makes me <laughs> ah if you guys don't know who chip skylark is disappointment very disappointed in you but chip skylark's bitch says mdt don't cross the line everyone who crossed the line and i took that personally referring to the Michael Jordan meme from the Last Dance documentary. If you guys don't know what that is, definitely go look that up. Absolutely amazing filmatography right there. But anyways, guys, huge shout out to Chip Skylark's bitch. That was absolutely hilarious, but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line. You cross the line.